वेलकम बैक एंड वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन दी ओपन इलेक्टिव ऑन नार्कोटिक प्लांट्स वी हैव लर्न क्वाइट ए फ्यू थिंग्स इन दी फर्स्ट थ्री वीडियोस इन फर्स्ट थ्री यूनिट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दी सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड दी इफेक्ट्स ऑफ ड्रग्स स्पेशली दी नार्कोटिक ड्रग्स ऑन दी सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम Welcome to St Joseph's University and uh, welcome to this open elective course on narcotic plants. This is unit 4 in which we will study drug action on the central nervous system. These are the different types of narcotic drugs that are available in the market. The drugs which are commonly abused are opioids, cannabinoids and coca alkaloids. Opioids are drugs that are obtained from the plant papaver somnifera is commonly called heroin it's also called smack cannabinoids are extracted from the plant called cannabis sativa and they bind to cannabinoid receptors in the central nervous system coca alkaloids also called cocaine is obtained from the coca plant erythroxylum coca and it's commonly called crack it is usually snorted and the other plant which is commonly used to produce narcotic drugs is atropa belladonna the picture you are seeing on the screen drugs like barbiturates and others especially lsd lysergic acid diethyl amides are similar to the narcotic drugs that i mentioned earlier they cause severe mental uh, disorders because they are generally used to treat some of the mental illnesses like depression insomnia but often they are abused they are misused by people morphine is a very effective sedative or a painkiller but that is unfortunately misused or abused generally it is used for uh, patients who have undergone surgery but unfortunately it is abused or misused several plants fruits seeds having hallucinogenic properties have been used for hundreds of in the hundreds of years in india and across the globe and they are used for various medicinal purposes but now as i mentioned repeatedly they are abused the nervous system is made up of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system the central nervous system is made up of brain and spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system is actually a network of nerves and neural tissues branching throughout the body this is the outline of the nervous system there is central nervous system made up of brain and spinal cord there is peripheral nervous system and there is autonomous nervous system this is the outline of the nervous system the neurons are the nerve cells or the structural and functional units of the nervous system they conduct impulses that enable the body to interact with both external and internal environments there are various types of neurons the tissues that support the nerve cell is called neuroglia the motor neurons are usually have one axon and several dendrites the axon is covered with the insulating fatty layer called myelin sheath and transmits signals a long distance to the region where it has to be activated dendrites are short and unsheathed motor neurons cause muscle contractions and control secretion from glands and organs and it controls the entire body sensory neurons do not have two dendrites they are attached to sensory receptors and transmit the impulses to the central nervous system which then stimulate the neurotransmitters or interneurons which then stimulate the interneurons and then the motor neurons you are seeing the neuron on the screen there is a dendrite head and there is a tail that is axon and dendrites actually receive the stimuli and impulses and uh, axon carries the stimulus or carries the sensory messages the nerve impulses are transmitted via branches called synapses the synapses are connections hooking dendrites and 
axons from one neuron to the other so all neurons are connected end to end the number of synapses influences transmission the number of neurons number of synapses actually control the different actions of your body and that is how the nervous system is working but unfortunately because of drug use use of drugs and also maybe because of some diseases these diseases and the drugs they actually destroy the entire system and they disturb the entire system and thus the nervous system breaks down thus the nervous system is completely interrupted it lead to different physiological properties like stupor hallucination false feeling of happiness and all these are caused because of these interfering substances normally the narcotic drugs that we are discussing in this class there are many different types of uh, drugs that affect the central nervous system and most of them are uh, synthetic they are used as uh, medical substances by medical practitioners and we are now in this class are concentrating upon the narcotic substances that are produced from the narcotic plants narcotic analgesic is a class of drugs which are combination of products that contain narcotic analgesic in combination with at least one or the other analgesic like hydrocodone and these are used by the medical practitioners for medical treatment narcotic analgesics are a class of medicines that are used to provide relief from moderate to severe or acute or chronic pain they may be also called opiates or opioid analgesics or narcotics they have been overused oversubscribed misused abused all over the world us alone having substance misuse disorder involving prescription of narcotic analgesics these drugs actually interfere with the neurons and the nervous system in various ways they interfere with the neurons in the way they send the messages or impulses receive the messages process the signals via neurotransmitters some drugs such as marijuana heroin can activate neurons because their chemical structure is similar to that of natural neurotransmitter by attaching itself to the neurotransmitter by attaching itself to the cells they activate the neurons and thus they interrupt the nervous system opioids also disrupt the central nervous systems they block pain sensations they induce drowsiness reduce body temperature slow the heart rate blood pressure and they also affect the rate of respiration this is the outline of how drug action takes place administration of drug absorption of the drug distribution of the drug all over the body then the action begins and the action involves the effect which may be positive effects or side effects opioid receptors are present in many regions of the nervous systems that are involved in pain transmission control including primary afferent neurons spinal cord midbrain and thalamus scientists have found three types of opioid receptors mu delta and kappa are the three types of opioid receptors in the body a receptor is a macromolecule that is there as a part of natural cell naturally cells will have receptors actually the drug which is acting as a ligand binds to the receptor the binding of a drug to the receptor depends on types of chemical bonds that can be established between drug and the receptor opioids act on many places in the brain and the nervous system including limbic system which controls emotions here opioids can create feelings of pleasure relaxation contentment the brain stem which controls these things in your body does it automatically like breathing here opioids can slow breathing stop coughing 
and reduce feeling of pain. The spinal cord which receives the sensation from the body before sending them to the brain. Here too, opioids decrease feelings of pain even the, in case of serious injuries. Long term use of opioids can change the way in which the normal nerve cells behave, the normal way in which the brain functions. This happens even to people who take opioids for a long period of time as a part of their treatment given by the doctors. The nerve cells grow used to having opioids around so that when they are taken away suddenly the person can have lots of unpleasant feelings, reactions. These are leading to withdrawal symptoms and this leads to what is known as addiction. There are two types of drugs, agonist, antagonist. Agonist is a chemical that activates the receptor to produce a biological response. Antagonist is a type of receptor ligand that blocks or dampens a biological receptor by binding to the receptor and blocking it. So agonist activates, antagonist deactivates, blocks. So the drugs can act in both the ways and uh, morphine and heroin are agonists actually. They activate a biological response. This slide shows how agonists and antagonists behave. This slide shows the way in which the agonists are acting in your body when they are consumed or inhaled or taken and when they are affecting the central nervous system. The immediate adverse effects of drugs and alcohol abuse are manifested in the form of reckless behavior, unusual behavior, vandalism and violence. Excessive doses of drugs may lead to coma, death due to respiratory failure, heart failure and cerebral hemorrhage. Three different types of drugs, narcotic drugs that are popular globally are heroin, cannabis and cocaine. They they actually affect different parts of a body. For example, heroin affects central nervous system, respiratory system, heart, circulatory system and liver. Cannabis affects eyes, mouth, skin, heart, muscles, brain. Cocaine affects brain, throat, lungs, nose, teeth, heart, skin. So it is always good to say no to drugs in whatever may be the condition whether it is medical or not, please avoid taking any form of drug, any kind of drug. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video with some other topic. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please open the description box to see the details about this video. We will meet again in the next video with some other topic. Thank you very much.